Hi, in this video we're going to show you how option trading works in Aetna Trader. For this purpose we're going to use our free option trading simulator available at aetnasoft.com. Our platform offers a rich option trading functionality that enables traders to view option chains, calculate the projected profit and loss for a specific option, as well as estimate the probability of the underlying security reaching a specific price. Alright, now let's dive deeper into options trading and see how it actually works. When you open up Aetna Trader for the first time, there is a tab called Options. And this tab contains two widgets, Option Chain and Option Ticket. These two widgets are responsible for options trading. But of course you can define custom tabs and mix different widgets with options. For example, we can add an Option Chain widget. Let's also add a chart. We may also link these two widgets together by assigning them a specific color. So let's assign green and green here. And in this way I can analyze different options for a specific security and immediately see this securities chart. But let's get back to the options tab and take a closer look at the option chain widget. Let's expand it. At the top there is a text field for the ticker symbol of the underlying security. In this case we have the Apple stock, we can change it to something else. Also here we have several drop down menus. The first one is strike range and essentially it allows you to select the number of options that will be displayed in the option chain. For example if we select 4, Aetna Trader will find an option with a strike price closest to the current market price and then it's going to display four options with a strike price above the found option strike price and then four options below. Let's try it out. So here is the main reference option and down below we have four options and also four options above. We can also filter options by their expiration type and finally we can filter options by their expiration date. For example if we are specifically looking for options that expire in January 2021 we can just select January 2021 and this will list options with the target expiration date. Alright now let's take a look at the option chain. At the top we have options with the closest expiration date. We can also list options with much later expiration dates. As you can see this table is split into two segments. The left side of the table displays the call options while the right side of the table displays put options. For every option there is a bid price, the ask price, the last price, as well as the open interest. In fact, you can add extra columns to this table by clicking here and selecting the required column. For instance, we can add a volume and that way we can analyze the current trading volume for these options. And if you hover the mouse over the strike price of any option, you'll see this pop-up containing the intrinsic and time value of this option. And of course we can take a look at the Greeks that measure different factors that affect the risk of the option. If we would like to take a look at the profit and loss calculator, we can simply click here and this will show us the profit and loss calculator. As usual the y-axis represents the profit and loss and the x-axis represents the price of the underlying security. Because we chose to buy a call option, our profits will increase as the price of the security increases. This orange triangle shows us our projected loss if the price of the underlying security at expiration date is equal to the strike price. Obviously in this case the price of the option will be zero and our only loss will be the money that we paid for the option. Let's imagine we buy only one contract which is priced at 1.6 and because we're buying a standard contract size, our final price will be $160. And our profit and loss calculator shows us that if the price of the security at expiration date is equal to the strike price, we will lose $160 that we paid for the option itself. And this yellow circle marks the price of the security at which we will break even. In our case, the price of the security at expiration date must equal $15.10 in order for us to compensate for the money that we paid for the option itself. And obviously if the price of the security moves to the right, this will be our profit window. The higher the stock rises above the $15.10 level, the higher will be our profit. 
Similarly, we can try to calculate the profit and loss if we try to sell a call option. So let's click here once again. And this chart once again shows us our profit and loss if the strike price is equal to the market price. It also shows our break-even price. And obviously everything to the right will be our loss. The yellow line shows the actual profit and loss based on the price of the security while the blue line represents the value of the option based on the price of the underlying security. And of course we can estimate our profit and loss if we purchased put options and also if we sold put options. We can also combine charts to calculate the profit and loss for multiple options. For instance, let's use the bull call spread strategy. So we're going to purchase this option and simultaneously we're going to sell this call option. And here we have the profit and loss chart for our strategy. And finally, if we would like to calculate our profit and loss, if we also traded the underlying security, we can click here. In this case, we are purchasing the Snapchat stock. Alternatively, if we would like to sell the underlying security, we can click once again. And now we'll see the profit and loss chart if we entered into the strategy and also sold the underlying security. Okay, now let's talk about the probability calculator. As the name implies, this calculator enables you to estimate the probability of the underlying security reaching a specific price range. So the current price of the Snapchat stock is $14.50. And let's try to estimate the probability of this price being in the range between $15 and $17, let's say in the next two months. So currently the probability calculator estimates that the probability of the underlying security remaining below the specified price range is 67%. The probability of the price of the security being between the specified price range is 30%. And the probability of it being above is slightly higher than 2%. We also have the probability of the underlying security's price hitting the lower bound of the price range, hitting the upper bound of the price range, hitting both bounds, either bound or neither bound. Okay, now let's actually attempt to trade an option. In the option chain, options with a gray background represent the out of the money options, and options with a black background represent the in the money options. So let's imagine we would like to trade this option. Let's click buy, and now let's click trade. So we currently have an order with one leg, we can also add an option, we can add a stock to enter into some complex strategy. We can also simply choose a predefined strategy. We can specify the order type, the target duration. We can also configure some complex one triggers the other or one cancels the other order. We can also change the side of the trade from buy to open to sell to close, sell to open and buy to close. Once you're done, click verify. Review all of the information on this window. If it's correct, click Trade. Currently the market is closed, that's why our option is suspended. But once the market is open, our order will be sent to the execution venue. And just like with regular stocks, your positions in options can be reviewed on the positions widget. Here we have the Apple stock, options on the Apple stock, and various other securities. Okay, now let's take a look at how we can trade options in our mobile app. When you open up Aetna Trader for iOS, you can open one of your watch lists and then select a specific security. Let's tap on the Netflix stock. Let's navigate to options. Let's choose the uppermost call option. Obviously, we can select multiple options. But for this example, let's just select one. Obviously, we can also specify the target expiration date. And once we're done, let's tap Trade Options. Just like in the web terminal, we can select the side of the trade. We can change the order type. We can add a comment. And finally, let's tap Verify Order. Let's review the information. Everything seems to be correct. And let's click Place Order. The order was placed, 
And once the market opens, it'll be sent to the execution venue. Etna Traders Option Trading Simulator is also available for private labeling. And if you would like to try it out, feel free to contact us at sales at etnasoft.com. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again in the next video. Bye.